Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to the Relentless Sportsman channel. On today's video, I'm going to share with you exactly how I fish for native brook trout using streamers on a small stream that's spring fed. Don't go anywhere. Here we go. A little nicer fish here. I'm gonna take it easy. Underneath those tag holders. I don't have a net, so I'm just gonna take it nice and easy here. Get my hands wet. All right, beautiful. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth. Nice looking fish. See you later, bud. So what I'm using is a little streamer. It almost presents itself like a nymph, the way it floats down the river. And I'm just pinpointing these little holes here along these tags. I'm working my way downstream today, then I'll work my way back upstream. I normally don't do that. I'd normally just go upstream. But anyway, I'm using this little streamer. It's supposed to imitate a black woolly bugger, even though it's not. It's quite different. If you look at the difference between a woolly bugger and this, it's different, but it kind of imitates that in a way. It's got a gold bead, so it sinks a little bit faster. I'm only using a two pound leader on here, maybe four feet long, since I'm using streamers. I'm basically just letting the streamer float down this way. And as soon as it gets to the point where the current has my line extended fully, then I start stripping it back with six inch strips. So it's a pretty simple way of fishing. I let it float down this way. I'm watching my fly line very carefully to see it twitch. It's green, so it's pretty easy to see it move. And then if I see a strike, I'll set the hook, but of course, I'll wait all the way until the bait gets fully extended this way. And I'll, I'll strip back in six inch strips back to me and kind of repeat the process. So I'll let it go down that way, let it float all the way out, and then strip it back. Real simple. Ooh, hit it right away. Saw the splash, another one hit it over there. I may have scared it, you know, walking downstream. You take a chance. There we go. Strip it back. Something just nailed it. Got him. Got him again. There we go. Beautiful little brookie. Got my hands wet. You can all see that here. On the streamer. They're not all big, but boy are they good looking. Look at that. Beautiful little native brook trout. Let this guy go. Now the nice thing about this stream is that it's got a quality size class where it goes all the way up to, you know, 15, 16, and then down to the ones where we just caught. So they're reproducing really nice, and those are the streams I tend to target. In fact, last time I was here on this stream, I missed at least a 15-incher, if not bigger. I mean, that thing was massive, and for a native brook trout stream, you catch a 15-inch brook trout, or at least attempting to, that's when it gets fun. That last one I caught, I was just letting it swing out in the current like that and it hit it when it stopped. You know, fishing these tag holders with the fly rod isn't the easiest thing. <laughs> you have to be really patient because you're going to get hooked up a lot. Now I'm going to let some line out this way, just shoot it down. So that it flows underneath those trees back there. And I'm watching my line real careful. As soon as that tightens up, you know you gotta set the hook. I just had a hit. Got one. This is a better fish. Better than the last one, I mean. Take her nice and easy. Get my hand wet. Beautiful colors. It's fall fishing. 
Just letting that bait slide underneath those tags over there where the fish are. They're looking upstream waiting for it. This is a real nice looking brookie. Get my line out of the way. Got it right in the corner of the mouth too. Beautiful. Looks like a nice male. Look at that. Right there in the corner of the mouth. Perfect place. Look at that. Male. Starting to get a little kipe on the front there. They're about to spawn in about a month or so. Nice orange spawning colors. But it's just a pleasure to catch these fish in the fall like this with these beautiful colors. And the closer you get to spawning, the brighter they get, especially those males. Let's let this guy go. You can send these streamers right underneath those tags like that. If there's any weight on your fly, like there is here with this bead, it's gonna sink just enough and the current's gonna take it right down. Those fish are just waiting for it to flow right into their striking zone. As soon as they do, you know, if you're stripping it back or you're just watching your line, as soon as you see something happen, set the hook and pull them out of there as fast as you can. It works pretty effectively, especially where the water gets more narrow, as you can see here, with the faster current speed. And because of this fast current, there's gonna be brook trout all over in these tags like this. Fish I just caught was down underneath these tags just waiting. I have a feeling there's gonna be another one up here. Send it out. Making sure that I'm only sending out a couple inches at a time. Current has slowed down just a little bit. So you're not gonna it's not gonna pull it out as fast. That's always my fear is that I pull out way too much line. And there's a whole bunch of slack like right here. You're never gonna feel the bite then. So I'm really feeling that in my left hand as well as I'm stripping out that line. I'm making sure that I'm going up with it instead of just pulling it out like this so I can feel the strike. Now I think I've got enough line out. It's about 25 feet out. I'm just gonna strip it back, little six inch strips. There we go, that was a nice cast. Oh, nailed it too, I missed. Back in that slack water over there. Oh, missed him again. That was a little guy that time. I think the first one that hit was not small. Let's get back in there. Got him. Got him. That was an ugly hook set, but I hooked him up. I had too much slack out my left hand. Yeah. It's like, I don't really like where that cast is gone. This is a nice little native over here. Oh man, that was not the prettiest hook set I've ever done. Hand wet. Very nice. Don't want to hurt them. Yeah, that fish wasn't getting away. Beautiful little native. On the streamer here. Nice. They're active today. This is right in the middle of the day too. I would not recommend fishing at this time most of the time. For whatever reason, it doesn't seem to matter. All right, everybody, so the bite really, really cooled off once that sun came out. As you know, brook trout hate the sun. It was good before the sun came up and then it died off quickly, so I decided to head back to the vehicle. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you learned something new. Remember, streamers for brook trout is a highly effective way. I know a lot of people don't like to use streamers for brook trout. That's more of a brown trout thing, but brook trout love them as well. Hope you learned something new on today's video. As always, subscribe below, give this video a like. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.